Um, here's your work for today's lesson. Hope you're all well. Hope you had a great weekend. Um, so today's lesson, great lesson, starting to move on to um, this side of things, which is um, the next bit of the coastal landscapes, which is about um, coastal land forms. Okay, so we've done this bit. The next bit will carry on with this stuff. Um, we're just going to start today, not with all of it, just with headlands and bays, a nice, um, easy, light introduction to it. Okay. Um, what you have to do is on the announcements page on the stream, you will be able to open up this PowerPoint, which will give you all of the information um, you need. Okay. Um, I've actually, if it's, it's probably easier actually, the PowerPoint is in um, this one here where it says headlands and bays work. Okay. So you'll all be able to open um, your own version of this PowerPoint which has a few activities to do. Okay, as it says there you've got your what you need to do, what you need to know. So it's characteristics of headlands and bases like what what they are, what they're like, can you recognize them on photographs, how they form in a real world example, and then these are the things to do. Okay? Um there's bits of information throughout. I'm gonna put a bit more in, in a minute um once I've done this video. And then there's some pictures of headlands and bays now there is a video. I've done have done a video of me talking you through these pictures, but they're not. It's not actually working at the moment. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to get it on um, as soon as possible. And then the key things to do after you've watched the video from me is to move on to this. So you've got some YouTube videos there to watch about headlands and bays, which will help you. Um, and then you've got this activity to do. So I want you to write your answers in here for this. Um, this activity is next one is using GCSE pod so again watch this pod answer these questions fill out those blanks and then the last one is just make a little keyword glossary so you're going to do those activities on here save it hand your copy in to me okay and then once that's done very simple we haven't done this for a while but a nice exam practice question for you to do so again just like with the flooding one we did fairly recently um, you just need to write your answer in here and then submit it to me and I'll give you a mark out of six and I'll give everyone some feedback as well if needed. So you load this up and you should get your own copy and you can answer it in here. Please don't take more than 10 minutes on this because it's an exam practice question and we want to keep it realistic. And so that's it for today. So I should you should be submitting two bits of work, but then they shouldn't actually be very long so it shouldn't take you that much time. Okay. If there's any problems, just comment on here and I can help you. Um, just a reminder, the key things are characteristics of headlands and bays and how do they form. Good luck. Let me know if you need any help. Have a great day and work hard.